Welcome to another episode of Around the Neighborhood with me, Scott McMahon, your local real estate professional. And today we're in West Lynn, actually underneath the I-205 Abernathy Bridge. And we're at the banks of the Willamette River. And across the way is Oregon City. And we're gonna take a look at the McLean House. So before we get into a little history about the McLean House, let's first take a look at what makes West Lynn so special. West Lynn is located in the southern suburbs of the Portland metro area, just across the river from Oregon City. With just over 26,000 residents, West Lynn is home to one of the best school districts in the state. It offers numerous parks, river access, dining and shopping throughout the neighborhoods, including its charming historic district. The prices for single-family homes range anywhere from $200,000 to $2 million. For the past few years, the median home price has been increasing beyond $525,000. So here we are at the historic McLean House here in West Lynn. It was built in 1927, and it has 17 rooms, three bathrooms, and two full fireplaces. Now it's owned by the city of West Lynn, and they use it so you can rent out for weddings, corporate events, and in fact, in a couple days from now, they're gonna have a garden gala, and we'll check that out here in a little bit. So as you enter the front door, you'll notice the sweeping staircase that leads to the second floor. Now the banisters and staircase have been beautifully restored and then to the right of us is the dining room. Mrs. McLean loved to redecorate so we're not too sure what the original paper looked like but this uh, restoration uh, is pretty much age appropriate to the house. Now on the other side of the entry is the living room and this room was restored in 2005. And through the French doors you enter the conservatory. Most of the room was restored in the past year due to damages in the window panes and the, the lead glass and the doors and so on. top of the stairs and then to our left is what they call the ship room because it always had the wallpaper with ships. As we pass through the uh, little closet here, we now enter the master suite. Mrs. McLean absolutely loved roses, which is why this room has the rose pattern wallpaper. The house is named after Dr. Edward McLean, who at the turn of the century uh, bought this property and was practicing in Oregon City as a doctor. I mean, he made house calls of all sorts. But one of the most famous things that uh, Dr. McLean was known for was sort of what we know as today as the HMO, or helping better systems in place to pay for medical care, uh, both for patients and uh, medical students. When Dr. McLean was building the house in 1927, he was building it for his ever-growing family, um, which I think eventually he got to five kids, he and his wife. So 17 rooms and three stories in 1927, I think that was probably enough room for a family of seven, right? What's cool about this spot too is that you can come here, there's public parking. It is open to the public uh, for most days for free, so you can take a guided tour of the McLean House. And just right across the way from the McLean House is the banks of the Willamette River. A lot of the charm of the McLean House is not only, you know, because it's owned by the city, but there's a lot of volunteers and they're called the Friends of the McLean House. And um, all the information for the McLean House is located below this video, but it's pretty easy to go to. Just go to mcleanhouse.org and you can uh, find out how you can volunteer to help and participate in all the different events that they have throughout the year. They call it the Jewel of the City, um, alive and well here in West Lynn. So as you see right here, the, they just put up a tent because uh, this weekend they're gonna have this uh, garden gala and we'll come back and check out all the different vendors and uh, all the festivities 
uh, that can happen here on the grounds of the McLean House. At a uh, gala like this, they're going to have some sweets, and I got a real sweet problem with that's definitely with cookies. This is fantastic because I didn't know they had a, um, a specific sweet masterpiece um, baker uh, just across the river here in Oregon City. Oh my gosh, did you look at this? How cute is this? I found the bunny. I'm good. So you must be Dawn. I am. And all this is uh, handmade, right? This is all handmade by me. These are all handmade by people in India. I choose the stones. This is 100% recyclable material and artboard I make by myself. Everyday household paper scraps. We have old, some of our old drawings and sketches and even some of my thoughts end up back here. I don't throw any paper away. It's, it's going to make history back if it gets a part of this. The best thing I've seen is this beaver fever. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> That's for this tent. That's the tent. These stickers, how are these made? They were just uh, ordered? <laughs> um, I drew them uh, like in a sketchbook and then I colored them in digitally. And then did you order them um, like a sticker place yeah. or something? Yeah, the site was called Sticker Mule. Did they, oh yeah, Sticker Mule. Did they actually do the cut for you too? Yes, they did a die cut for me. So this art and garden gala this is the first time they put it on in six years. So six years ago, I think it was the first time they did it, and this is the uh, second time. So as you can see, it's small and quaint at this moment, but a lot of neighbors come together, a lot of community members come together, a lot of you know volunteer work, a lot of uh, fundraising for other organizations that help the community at large, both here in Westland and Oregon City. As you can tell, there's a good chance that this could get bigger and bigger as the years go on. So we'll see. So if you're ever in Westland and you're near the McLean House, be sure to grab a tour of not only the house, but the entire grounds as well. And if you're looking to buy or sell a home in this area, please give me a call. All my contact information is below. And if you have any questions about the real estate process, I created a free video series called The Secrets of the Real Estate Process. And you can grab this series over at freesecrets.net. That's freesecrets.net. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode Around the Neighborhood with me, Scott McMahon, your local real estate professional. And I'll see you around the neighborhood. This is the Locust Black, the Robinia Pseudo Cassia. Totally fail, epic fail. Rent out for weddings, blah, 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 blah. But what makes Westling, so I'll do that again. Blah. But today we're gonna to take a look at the McLean house and we'll go into a little bit of history about that. But first, now that's terrible.